Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a skincare of my nighttime routine. Um, I had a full face of makeup today, so I thought I would, I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, but it is time to take it all off. Obviously, most of my lipstick has come off, so let me just share with you, and I have the water running. So the first thing I do is use these nighttime soothing wipes, makeup removing wipes. Now, I think after this, I'm going to go to um, back to baby wipes. And actually, I just saw Tia Kirby do a uh, video removing her makeup. And she used coconut oil. I like that. But I don't want to use my uh, house towel. See, there's the makeup house towel to take my, you know, to wipe that off. So I think baby wipes would be a, a nice substitute. I'm taking off this makeup. So, yes, we are taking off the makeup. Now, these aren't the greatest at taking off eye makeup. <clears throat> okay. Obviously, it won't get it all. That's my eye makeup. So, that is taken off the eye makeup. I'm looking in the mirror here. So, that's pretty much the face white. And taking everything off, the, at least the first layer. So then, after that, I will use my cotton rod here and use my um, Mary Kay eye makeup remover. Shake it up real good. I will go ahead and use that to take off any other eye makeup that's there. Try not to rub too hard. And depending on the mascara I'm wearing, I have to. Now I'm just brushing back and forth real lightly. So that's pretty much. I'll just use the back. If it was more than that, I'll just use the whole new uh, cotton round. So that is the back. Let's see if there's any. Sometimes you know how that mascara stick to your eyelashes. This seems when they say waterproof, it don't even want to come off with. So that's pretty much that. Both eyes completely taken off. So now I am going to use my cleanser which I showed I will be using the um, liquid African black soap by natural life so what I just did was just wet my spin brush I'm just putting oops I don't think I opened it Oh, I did. Oh, I could clear off. I feel like it might have been clogged up a little bit. So I'm just going to pour some. Oops, making a mess. And I just go ahead on. I might have to put a little bit more on here because. I had tilted this over. Maybe not. As long as it sets up. And this is not the Mia. This was a Kohl's department store brand. But it works just fine. I will be giving a review, of course, of my nighttime routine products I've been using in another video. Tonight will just be showing you what I do. So as you can see, everything is setting up. Try to avoid the eyes. And I just 
Goron nose, usually wear black hair tie. Hopefully you can see that. Get as close to the hairline as possible. And again, like I said, definitely get your face brush if you only gonna have something like this. Just a hand brush, face brush you sell at Origins, which is usually inside Macy's. So, oops, I turned it off. So I don't know if you can tell all of that that came off. And I just use my fingers there to rinse, to wash that off really good. So all clean. And I have a holder, which is this. And it has a, oops, and it has a piece of napkin or paper towel in there. Just to, I wipe this off, but you know, just any additional drying you may have, drip drying. So now I'm going to take my face rag and wipe, baby, wipe my face. Feels good. And just a little, probably can't tell, but it is a little residue. That last little bit the face brush is able to do. And I don't, I've learned not to spend a lot of time on my face brush. Because the first few times I used it, I was putting too much pressure in doing it for too long. And, um, my face felt uh, uh, agitated, a little agitated the next day. So now it is time to put, oh, I almost forgot a step. Get a cotton on. Let's do that. And we use our witch hazel to tone which we all know or have heard brings back the pH balance in your face. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's barely anything on there, which is a good sign that I cleaned pretty good. Now, once sometime I wipe all by my ear and I didn't clean that area, so obviously it would be a little bit more messy so I'm going to use the firming eye cream which I use day and night Mary Kay and I just use a very small pump that's it and I dot above and below oops I'm gonna use just a little bit more that's it I didn't feel like I got any on that eye and I just pat 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 around the eyes that's it I really like it I can't tell that you know around my eyes feel more hydrated so that's it I pat that in around my eyes and then I use a couple pumps of the time wise night solution I use two pumps that's two pumps I'll go ahead and wipe that in. And this is part of their age, anti-aging line. And as this dries, to me, it feels just a little bit tacky, but then it absorbs all the way in. So I like it. And then my moisturizer, age fighting moisturizer. This is what I use at night. It's about how much I use. And that is pretty much it. Only thing that will be different for me is if I use the mask, exfoliate it, something like that. But tonight was not a night for me to do that. So 
that is it and I probably won't do a daytime routine because my nighttime routine is more steps than my daytime routine um, so and another thing I have is the sugar scrub my lips aren't feeling like they need this but I have used it so I would just put this on and then it comes with a lip um, shea moisture or not shea moisture shea uh, butter lip lip balm that I will put on after using this but you know what actually let me just go ahead and I can't remember when the last time I did this so I'm just gonna do it tonight so I just use about that much go ahead rub her in out of all of this, this is probably the only thing that has a scent to it, which is good. I don't like anything for my face to be overly scented, because I don't really see the point in that. But, you know, that, that clean scent, like you got your face done at the spa, that smell, I don't, I don't mind that. And you all know, I said it before, I think it's gross when people lick off <laughs> sugar scrub so I do not lick it off I'll wipe it off oh look at that there was still some lipstick on so that not not a bad call on my part to go ahead and do that and I will put the lip balm on and that will be it that is my nighttime routine if you have any questions, if you have a nighttime routine, you use any of these products, um, let me know. I, like I said, I'll be doing a separate review on the line. And uh, that is it. Thank you everybody so much for tuning in. You all have a fantastic and wonderful night. Bye.